the milk in the refrigerator went bad and somebody just sprinkled it on me in the middle of the night and now I'm smelling like some spoiled milk. <laughs> Hi you guys, my name is Destiny, if you're new here. I recently made a video talking about postpartum essentials and all the things that you need, but I never discussed how your body changes, the mental changes you go through, what it's really like having three kids, hair loss, and marriage troubles. And today we're gonna talk about all of those things. Heaven is over here stirring up. Hopefully she doesn't start crying, but I can't make any promises. First and foremost, let's talk about how your body changes during pregnancy. My body went through a whole bunch of changes. My breasts got bigger, my thighs got smaller, my butt got smaller, my stomach got bigger, my face got fatter. Like a lot of things changed during my pregnancy. And afterwards, it was no different. I'm gonna be putting some videos and pictures on the screen so that you can see what my body looks like. This is what my body looks like 24 hours after having her. Okay, it's been about 24 hours since I had my little girl. And this is what my stomach looks like. My uterus is down here below my belly button, but my belly looks good. Love that for me. Just have a little pudge, but we looking good. And this is what my body looked like when I got home from the hospital. Three days. <laughs> this is what my stomach looked like about three weeks after that. My stomach did go back down to its normal size, but I do want to get more toned. I want my stomach to go down a little bit more. I want my waist to just come in just a little bit, and I want my thighs and my calves to be a lot more toned. And in order to do that, we need to start out with some cute workout gear. Good morning. It's about that time that I start getting my body back together since having baby girl, but it is imperative that I look good while doing it. I want to start off very light with my workout routine, so I chose yoga, and I have a super cute outfit to show you guys, so hold that thought. I specifically chose yoga because yoga improves strength, balance, and flexibility. It also increases your blood flow and warms up your muscles while holding a pose to build strength. I also carry my daughter a lot rather than be in my arms or with a carrier and yoga helps with back pain relief. This set was perfect, especially with me starting working out again. I needed something that was very comfortable, and I also needed something that had a lot of stretch. I want to mention that the pants are in a medium, and they were about a mid-rise for me, and the top was in a small plus, and it came down a significant amount to cover my insecurities, so I could have really appreciate that. Whew, my workout is officially complete, and I must say that I love this set. It definitely held me together while working out and I have a few more sets to show you so hold on I absolutely love this color on my brown skin orange always pops on brown skin bra happens to be my favorite piece so far it does not have removable breast pads which is okay with me because this fire design in the back like do you see that crisscross detail? Top tier. The material is very stretchy and I could appreciate that because your girl got some hips, she got a little bit of booty, so I need some stretch. I also really like how this covers my stomach because I did just have a baby and there is some significant darkness on my stomach as well as a few stretch marks that I'm not too proud of. And my Linea Nigra is still there. I love that this comes above my stomach. It sucks me in so that your girl is kind of giving the curvy vibe. I don't think I mentioned this yet, but the top is in a small plus and the bottoms are in a medium. I have one more set to show you. Here is the bra. This bra is also in a small plus. Do y'all see the zipper detail in the front? Like, do you see that? You guys know I'm a breastfeeding mom and this zipper is gonna come in clutch. Let me first tell you guys about the bra. It's in a small plus, just like the other bra. This bra is providing maximum support 
for your girl's milk jugs. I love the zipper front detail and I also love that it is super versatile. The back of the bra has adjustable straps and the side of the bra has adjustable straps as well to provide you with better support and comfort. Lastly, let's talk about these leggings. They are in a size medium and they provide pockets. I don't know about you, I like having music while I run and so having a pocket to hold my cell phone comes in so handy. I love that they have a maximum amount of stretch in them and I love this color combination together. All of the information will be linked in the description box on the sets that I got as well as my sizes. If I could only recommend one item, it would definitely be this bra. I recommend you guys checking Yvette out. I do have some discount codes for you. I will leave them on the screen. Don't forget to check out the description box where I'll have all the links and my sizes. Now, back to your regular schedule programming. Now that we have covered how I want my body to look and transform, let's talk about some changes. Uh-oh, she's stirring up. Hi, mama. Hi, mama. Hi. <laughs> Hi, honey. Okay. Heaven's gonna join us throughout this video. Hopefully she doesn't cry. Anyway. Post-pregnancy, your breasts do get engorged with milk. This has happened to me quite a few times now, and I do use my pump. I talked about my pump and the ones that I liked. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I talked about the ones that I liked in my postpartum essentials video. I will leave that in the cards if you want to check that out. Also, a major thing that happens during pregnancy are stretch marks. I didn't get stretch marks with my first two pregnancies, but this one was a lot different. I did get a few stretch marks. And honestly, I think it's because she was late. Kevin was born 40 weeks and six days, so she was really, really late. <laughs> However, the boys were much early. Daniel was a week early and Josiah was a day early. So my body didn't really get to the full, full term. With heaven, I went over term. So I think that's why those stretch marks came. Honestly, there are no remedies for stretch marks. I did see something on Instagram though where this guy took like the color of the lady's skin tone and um, shaded her stretch marks in, which is something that I'm not interested in. But if you wanna do something like that, you can. Um, it's like a tattoo and he just shaded um, her stretch marks in which were really really interesting but if you're into that um you can i also had to start using new skincare products because all of the things that were working for my skin no longer worked anymore i don't know what it is about postpartum skin but your girl been going through some changes specifically with the skin on my face my skin has been significantly drier it's just different it's just a lot different than how it normally is and with that being said i want to share some of the products that i've been using in order to combat my dry skin so let's start off with a mask this is the mask that i use on my skin three times a week it's actually black in color which surprised me but you just put it on your dry skin let it dry down and then wash it off and I really do enjoy this mask as far as soap is concerned I do use goat boy soap we talked about that in a previous video already no 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 mama mama trying to finish her video yo Okay, every time I record a video, I feel like she's hungry. After washing my face, I go in with the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid. I love this stuff. It's like a little dropper, so I put some in my hands, apply it all over my face, let it dry down, and then I go in with the moisturizer by The Ordinary as well. Oh, The Ordinary as well. I love this stuff. I should have gotten a larger bottle of this, but I'm gonna go back and get some more. I love this stuff. It's thick, but not greasy. Even though it's white in color, when I apply it to my skin, it doesn't leave me a white cast, and I really, really enjoy that. All of the Ordinary products that I have, I love them thus far. As far as my lips are concerned, because your girl got some soup coolers on her, okay? I use the Laneige. I love this stuff. I use it as like a regular lip balm. Um, I think this is the sleeping mask child I don't care I use it all day all night and it really leaves my lips very very moisturized this flavor is I don't know the pink one I also want to talk about how your hormones change after having a baby 
I don't know about you, but after having heaven and getting home and trying to get into a routine, I started sweating like a baby pig in the heat, okay? I needed to run around in some mud to cool off. Every night I'm sweating and I start to smell like spoiled milk. Like the milk in the refrigerator went bad and somebody just sprinkled it on me in the middle of the night and now I'm smelling like some spoiled milk. Oh my goodness. Talk about taking a shower three times a day. I was in that shower three times a day because I always smelled like, I smelled like milk. No one else smelled it but me, but your girl was smelling like some spoiled milk. I really can't give you any advice on how to combat that. However, I just know for me, it went away gradually. I don't wake up smelling like spoiled milk anymore, but in the beginning, after first getting home, I smelled like milk. And I contribute that to my hormones changing and also me leaking milk because sometimes heaven will sleep for five hours straight and my breasts will become engorged and they'll leak. And so I did have like milk stains and stuff all over the sheets a week. I was like, about that? But just know that you could potentially smell like spoiled milk. I don't feel like this is widely talked about, but hair loss. Now, I did experience hair loss within my first pregnancy and my second as well. With Josiah, which is my first son, he's eight now, my edges fell out. Like, all up in here, I didn't have no edges for a good two months. And then after my second son, I didn't experience hair loss until he was about one. But I was also buying my first house and transitioning into a new job. So I think all of those other things contributed to my stress level, which made my hair fall out, like in clumps, like in the shower, falling out. And I ended up dyeing my hair and I wasn't taking care of my hair. And long story short, hair loss is serious, especially postpartum. Now in this postpartum, I haven't experienced hair loss yet. But I do think it's on the way. They say it happens around the three month mark and heaven's only two months right now, but next month I'll be able to determine if I'm gonna see some hair loss. If it's gonna be my hair just falling out in clumps like it did with Daniel, or if it's gonna be my edges like it did with Josiah. Hopefully it's just my edges though, because ain't nobody got time to be having clumps of hair coming out in a shower, okay? There are two more things that I wanna talk about that are really, really serious, which are mental health, as well as your marriage or your relationship. And I wanna talk about mental health first because when you go to the doctor after having a baby, they give you a questionnaire every single time. Even during pregnancy, I think they give you the same questionnaire. And it's just a series of questions that ask you, how are you doing? And do you feel stressed and things like that. And recently at Heaven's two month doctor's appointment, I had that same questionnaire and I didn't score as great. I actually scored a seven out of 10 and her doctor recommended that I seek some help. So I am on the hunt for a therapist because having three kids is stressful. I'm not gonna lie to you, especially if your children are older and you're starting all over like me. Um, it could become a very daunting task. All of my friends who have three kids used to say like, oh my gosh, it gets wild after you have your third one. And yo, they were lying. It's chaotic around here. And sometimes I feel like I can't juggle it all. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, you know, like I cook, I have to clean. Like there are, there are things around here that have to get done. And if I don't do them, they don't get done. So it's like a juggling act every day and it's, it's stressful. To tie into that, I wanna talk about marriage. Everything has not been peachy keen, jelly bean over here, okay? I'm not gonna hold you, there has not been much quality time between my husband and I. When we lived overseas, we had a little bit more freedom but not so much family support, which was a little difficult to manage at times. Before heaven came along, my husband and I used to go on date nights and we used to go to the movies together and go for late night walks and go to Starbucks together at night and just do small things together watch a movie together uninterrupted but now that heaven is here we don't have those luxuries anymore there is no one to just come in and watch her while we watch a movie like things are just different and I'm not saying that they're bad and I'm not saying that they're good they're just different there isn't much quality time and the days seem to pass us by a lot quicker than they did before because the both of us are just hustling and bustling he's at work i'm at home trying to take care of the kids trying to take care of the house and sometimes our worlds just don't mesh together so with that being said i'm gonna take matters into my own hands and get a babysitter at least once a week so that we can have some quality time together because it's not happening 
and I want to ensure that we keep our relationship strong and healthy for the both of us and if that means that I have to pump once a week so that my babysitter can feed my baby while I'm going that's exactly what I'm gonna do I love my husband and I want to keep our marriage as strong as possible our friendship as strong as possible and in order to do that I have to make sure that both of us are a priority and getting a babysitter and making us a priority is just something that we're gonna have to do I'm pretty sure I covered all of the things that I wanted to talk about if you guys have any questions or you want to talk about something that I didn't discuss please let me know in the comments all of the links for the items that I mentioned are also in the description box so please don't forget to open the description box thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe Share where you share videos, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!